Hello Sylvanian friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new here, I hope you're all really really well and today's video we are back in my office room. I thought it had been a while since I've showed my face on camera um, and it's time to stop hiding away so here I am. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my original family sets. So these are part of my small collection I had from when I was a lot younger. So bless their hearts, they are a little bit worse for wear, but they have been well loved and well played with. So I thought that would be really fun to share with you today. I've got a couple of other um, older families that I think I will share in a similar video like this uh, soon. So let's jump into it. I am going to be using, um, I'm going to read out the details of the, each family member as well because I always think that's really fun to hear um, how they fit into the Sylvanian sort of village life and I am using the Sylvanian Families wiki page so it's sylvanianfamilies.fandom.com um, it's just got a list, I find it really helpful for like all the different names of the people in the family and then it gives you the details of like what their jobs are um, that kind of thing so I will read through that as well okay so the family I'm sharing today is the Hamilton hamster family I've just got them on my desk here so here they are this is the mother this is the father I don't know if you can see they're a little teeny bit ropey bless them we have got the sister and then the brother, he, um, yeah, the flocking on his face, it makes me upset, but I know he was really well loved. He is still well loved. And we've got the little boy baby as well. So I will show you them one at a time. And then at the end, I will show sort of a close up of them just standing up um, so you can see them in a bit more detail. Now, I wasn't aware until I sort of looked it up that there haven't really been any hamster families since these ones. Um, and I was having a look on the Sylvanian Storekeepers website when I recently placed an order and they were selling one of these, so the mother and the father, individually for £60. And I was really like, oh my god, that's that's a lot for one, one animal. Um, so yeah, it would appear that these are quite rare um, and quite sought after. So I'm really happy to have them. Of course, when I got them, I wasn't aware of, you know, how valuable they might be in the future or anything like that. And I just enjoy playing with them because ultimately they're toys, aren't they? So yeah, they have been well loved as you will see when I do a close up. So we have got, let's start with the mother. This is Hilda. Actually, no, let's start with the father because he's the first on the list. So this is the father. His name is Huckleberry. Yeah, Huckleberry, Huckleberry or Huckleberry. As you can see, they are the older style with the sort of grippy hands so they can hold things. I love his pink check shirt and his little brown dungarees. I just think he is so cute. I don't think they have tails. Perhaps they've got a little, oh yeah, he's got a teeny little, hold on, get his little tail out for you, <laughs> a teeny little tail. I used to have hamsters as pets when I was younger, so it's quite fitting to have had the Sylvanian hamster family. Okay, so this is Huckleberry. He is the blacksmith. He enjoys nothing better than hammering the shoes for the Sylvanian ponies into shape on his anvil. The only drawback is that he gets very hot in the process. Now, hamsters do actually live in hot climate. Um, I think they come from the desert. I don't know. I could be making that up. I know like you keep them in your bedroom as a child, but I believe they are native um, to like a desert kind of environment. So I'm sure hamsters can handle the heat. So that is Huckleberry. And uh, next up, we have the mother who, as I said before, her name is Hilda. Hilda Hamilton. I love her little dress. So this is, obviously you can tell it's an older style outfit because it's just very simple with a little apron on, um, just a plain sort of t-shirt dress. It is really pretty though. So it's this light pink colour with the little white polka dots and she has got a few little marks on her, bless her. Um, just 
aging I think obviously this this family I didn't mention actually came out in I think it's 2006 yeah released in 2006 in the UK so what does it say about Hilda Hilda is the riding instructor and she's very lucky that whenever any of her ponies throw a shoe she can lead them straight to her husband who carries out the necessary repair so as always you've got a really good couple here so Huckleberry deals with all of the new shoes and everything that the horses need and Hilda is a riding instructor so dream team all of the Sylvanian families are a little bit of a dream team aren't they they all go together perfectly so that's the mum and dad next up we have got the son George now George is probably um, <laughs> in the worst condition bless him i will show him you can see all down his face here he's got literally no flocking it's like bare plastic bless his heart and his little white tail like the plastic on there is coming through but do you know what it's okay you know he's been well played with very well played with again i love his little um what you call this dungaree suit the little checked pattern cute he doesn't have a top on underneath again it's a very simple outfit um but simple but effective you know so this is george he is officially the apprentice blacksmith so he of course works with his dad but he'd much rather join douglas furbanks in his latest stage production his dream is to one day play the male lead so he's got a bit of actor in the making kind of vibes there he wants to grow up and be the male lead um just having a look here some of the like cotton has come out i don't know if it'll show up it's come out of the button there i might um trim that down so yeah that's george and then finally on to his sister not finally because we do also have a baby so his sister is jane hamilton Again, you can see from their um, outfits, it's the more sort of simple style. It's just the little skirt with the ribbon sort of straps around the top. But again, very, very cute. I love the pattern on this one, floral, very pretty. And the ribbons are a little bit frayed at the end, but that's okay. And she's in all right condition. She doesn't have any areas, whoops, that are missing any sort of flocking. She's a little bit dusty. She's got a few little scratches on her, but you know, she's fine. So this is Jane. She's very hardworking and helps her mother Hilda at the riding school, brushing and cleaning to earn some pocket money. But she also loves to help Captain Sea Dog on the canal boat. She does this free of charge as she has so much fun. So not only does she love her horse riding and her horses, she's also really keen into her boats. Um, and getting involved on the canal boat there if only i still had the canal boat hey maybe maybe i will get a new one okay and then finally actually finally now this is the baby boy now he what's he called i think he's called neil where is he on here do do do, do. he is called neil so you've got four possible babies there's um Kirsty and peaches or Kirsty might be so on this listing here it says Kirsty hamilton is the cousin so she might be another child figure i don't know um peaches is a baby girl christine is a baby girl who is the twin of neil and neil is a baby boy so this is the baby boy um because he's in blue and that's what it says he again very well loved um quite a big patch of no flocking on the back of his head there bless him but cute classic little baby outfit there i love the detailing on the hamsters faces as well they just look so realistic like that's what hamsters look like they're so cute so yeah this is baby neil love him so that's the whole hamster family the hamilton hamsters I will um, show you them up close. I'll get them all stood up and then you can have a little look at them. Okay, so here they all are lined up. You can really see now what I meant about, you know, they've got little flocking bits missing. They're a little bit dusty. They're a little bit ropey. But do you know what? They are still super, super cute. So there they are. Love them. 
and this is one of my like i said original families and this came out in 2006 so it's probably very likely that was around the time i got them so we're looking at what 15 years 15 years old i think they fared pretty well bless them so that is it for this video looking at the Hamilton hamster family. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed having a look at their stories and just reminding myself of the sort of roles they play in the Sylvanian village. Um, so I hope you found that fun and interesting as well. Let me know below um, in the comments if you have this family and when you got it, have you had it for 15 years as well? Is it in better condition than mine? Most probably. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to catch you in my next one. And if Sylvanians are your thing, then please subscribe um, as you can be sure to see lots more videos from me soon. So I'll catch you next time. Bye.